Hello and welcome back. We are in day 15 of advanced mule training and in earlier lecture we can we discussed about Maven resource filtering. So now in this lecture we are going to discuss about a very important topic uh, which actually reduces the redundancy in the configuration. We under, will understand about parent POM. What is this bomb and how to use it? So let us try to understand first of all with a scenario. Normally in our organization, we'll be developing multiple APIs, API 1, API 2, etc. And most of these APIs will be having dependencies. Uh, common dependency is HTTP dependency, API kit dependency, and maybe secure configuration dependency, etc. So both APIs are having same dependencies. And we want to ensure that all the APIs will use same version of HTTP connector, maybe 1.8.0 and same version of API kit and secure configuration properties. How to ensure that all the projects within our organization will be using same version of dependencies. The advantage is tomorrow if I want to migrate to a different version of this dependency, I should be able to change at a single place. So when you are using Maven, normally what we do in our application pom.xml, we configure the dependencies and their versions. Now what we can do is we can create something called as bill of materials. Bomb. We can create a bomb project. OK, so in this bomb project, what we do is actually we create a pom.xml only. And here we configure all the dependencies, all the common dependencies and their versions. Then for our projects, we can use this bomb as a parent for both of these APIs. I will use this bomb application as a parent. Let us see actually how we can actually use this bomb as parent. It is called bill of materials because all the versions of all the dependencies are managed here. So let us see how to actually create a bomb project. What I will do is I'll just create a new general project, new project general. And here I'll write master dash bomb. A normal project I'm creating. Oh, sorry, I created a different name. I will actually delete it. Or I'll create a new project. I want it to be a general project master dash bomb. Finish. Now, under this, I have to create a pom.xml. Instead of me creating a pom.xml, I will copy paste. Actually, this day five, day 15, it, it, this is the Git repository which you will have access to. Here, I have master bomb and I'll copy this pom.xml into this project. I'll explain you. Here, this is also a normal pom.xml, and the most important thing is. The group ID. It should be our organization ID. OK, artifact name can be anything. I, I made it as master bomb. Version I can give anything and packaging time type should be POM. OK, so this name can be anything. Now under properties tag, I wrote a lot of key value pairs. HTTP connector version, sockets version and all. And let us see one by one here. Under dependency management tag, I wrote dependencies. Normally in a project specific pom.xml. What we do? We write dependencies tag and inside dependencies tag, we write all the dependencies. But here what I did is as this packaging is of type POM and all versions are managed here, 
I have to write a wrapper called as dependency management. That is very important. That is the difference. Dependency management. Under that, I configured dependencies. You can see here for each dependency for HTTP connector dependency, I configured a placeholder and the value for this HTTP dot connector dot version is given here. Similarly, for mule sockets connector, the sockets connector version is here. Another dependency API kit version here and whatever mule secure configuration properties module version. And I also want DB connector version here. So whatever I feel like common dependencies, those dependency tags I'm configuring under dependency management and the versions are here. Fine. Now, this is my group ID, artifact ID and packaging type is POM. Once we have this, what we have to do is I just go to um, this folder. This is a folder. Mm, I'll have to do a Maven install. I'll just go to command prompt and do MVN install. This will be installed into the local repository. So was it? Uh, let us see now what will happen. Um, this is my local repository. Dot M2 slash repository and what is my mm, group ID? It is starting with EA8. This is the one. Master bomb and 1.00 and here is a bomb. It is now installed into my local repository. Same thing. OK. Then once it is installed, what I can do is in my project. Um, I'll go to my project. This is my project and in form.xml. Here I need to write the parent tag. Under it, group ID. I'll have to copy paste the group ID artifact ID from this form. Group ID artifact ID version, I'll copy and paste. Good. So now I configured this as a parent. Okay. Then what I can do is um, wherever I am adding dependencies, I will try to remove the version. This HTTP connector version, let me remove and see I saved it. Still, is this HTTP 1.8 present? Yes, so like that what I can do, I can remove the dependencies, the dependency versions. The version for the same dependencies are in this bomb, right? And this bomb is a parent entity. It is available in my local, sorry, local repository. So it will automatically refer to it, right? So if I want to change versions of any of my dependencies, where do I change? I'll change in master bomb. And then install it. And one more thing, uh, if you see the master, the form.xml here, the plugins also, there might be some common plugins like Maven resources, plugin version, clean, Maven mule management, mule Maven plugin version. All this version, plugin versions are also managed here in this. And most importantly, all the plugins are under plugin management tab. That's all. Now, um, what I can do actually, even my project, if I have any plugins, if I'm using any plugins, let me show you here any plugins. See, for uh, Mule Maven plugin version, I don't need to configure the version. I can just remove the version. Similarly, for any of the plugin, I don't need to manage the versions. See, there is no error. All right. Now, just to show you um, what I will do is um, I'll just go to master bomb and change the HTTP version as 1.7.0. I just wanted to prove that it is picking up from the bomb. Then what I will do is 
I will do Maven install again. Whenever we make changes, we have to install it to our local repository. Good. Now what I can do is um, go to uh, projects and save it. What is the version? Is it still picking uh, 1.8.0? Oh, it is still there. OK, I'll close and open the project once. Hmm. Still it is 1.8.0. Oh, how come? The parent is this master bomb. And uh, HTTP connector I configured. Let me just check in master bomb. The version of HTTP connector is 1.7.0. Hmm. But the changes are not applied here. It is still showing uh dependency http 1.8.0 it is not picking up let me try to deploy it let the maven build happen and let us see if the error occurs yeah it is showing some error what is it saying yeah now it is saying uh mule http connector 1.7.0 is missing Actually, in the studio, I guess it is a problem with studio. I'll close the project and open again. Yes, now it is showing. <laughs> so good experience. Sometimes studio does not refresh itself. If you do the build, it is now showing 1.7.0 is missing. Now what I will do is I'll go ahead and change this version to 1.8.0. And then again, whenever I change the version, I have to install it in the local repository. Then that's fine. Now I will try to close the project and open it again. Still, I can see that error. Let me try to run this application. Hopefully it should pick up just because any point studio is showing it as an error. Uh, it is not a problem actually. The build is successful. See, it's even getting deployed as well. So what I will do is now again, um, I'll close this project and open it again. Hmm. Still the error is shown. The problem is it is saying still 1.7.0. Um, the application got deployed as well. It's a problem with Studio sometimes. It is not refreshing the latest changes. It's not picking up. This is a typical problem with Studio. In such cases, let me restart. Hopefully, after restarting, I should see that. Hmm. It got uh, restarted. Let us check. Yeah, now HTTP. Uh, I can see that HTTP tracer and it went also successful. Good. Good thing actually. Um, now there's a problem. If there are two APIs in both the APIs. Of course, the versions are managed by bill of materials, but I need to declare all the dependencies, all the common dependencies also. So to avoid that, what we can do is we can define one more thing called as a parent form, one more parent project I can create. Okay. So let us see. Actually, I'll delete this existing one. Okay. Now I'm creating a new general project. I'll just create the project name as parent dash form. 
OK, next and finish. Actually, this parent poem should be a child to master bomb. Let us see how I can do it. Mm, what I can do is actually I have. Uh, uh, master bomb, I have. Uh, in this day 15, uh, here I have parent poem. I'll copy this parent poem. And I will explain you see here for this parent poem. Mm, I am configuring the parent as master bomb, master dash bomb. So for this parent form, I'm configuring the master bomb as the parent. And here, what I am going to do is I'm going to declare all the common dependencies. Even the common plugins also you can declare without versions. OK. Good. Now. What I'll do is I'll have to install this parent form also again. I'll go to here. Uh, I'll go to parent form and then I'll do Maven install. Yeah, that also will be installed. Let me just check here. Is there parent form? 1.0.0. Yes. Now what I can do is in my project. In my project, whatever common dependencies are that I can remove. But now the parent is parent form. Not the bomb. Then. Uh, the dependencies, common dependencies like AP kit module, DB connector, all these common dependencies I will delete. OK. So for my project, the parent is parent bomb. The one for this parent bomb, the parent is parent bomb. So in parent bomb, what I did is I declared all the common dependencies and even I can declare all the common uh, plugins, right? Remember here there is no dependency management tag directly dependencies. And for my project, I'm using this parent form as a parent. That's all. I removed all the common dependencies. This MySQL dependency is specific to my project and this API dependency is specific to my project. Only the dependency specific to my project will be here. And um, even actually this repositories and plugin repositories could have been in bomb. Let me check in my bomb.xml bomb scom. Do I have uh, uh, repositories and plugin repositories? Yes. So even now what I can do. I can actually go to bomb.xml. Uh, I will I will remove this. Repositories. Good. So minimal dependencies are there. Even this Maven resources plugin is specific to my project. Clean project, I don't clean plugin. Actually, if I have defined it somewhere in the hierarchy, I don't need it. Let it be there. And even this Mule Maven plugin also I could delete. Let it be there, right? So I have actually uh, configured all the common dependencies in my parent and I am using it. OK. Good. Let us see if this deployment will be successful. Let me run this. Yes, deployment also is successful. So we understood about bomb and bomb. Good. Now what I want to do is I want uh, to create a template for all my. Projects within my organization. So that every developer, if they're creating a new project, they will use this template. So what I am going to do is here, I will delete this RAML, which can this XML, which contains all the flows because I want it to be a template. Mm, then um, I can actually have this YAML files here, or I can, I need not. So globals, I want this globals. And then what else? Okay. 
this raml dependency also i don't want i'll go to this form.xml and um, remove this raml dependency okay let this mysql dependency be there i want this to be in the template then what i'm going to do is uh, i'll just rename the artifact id as my api template this is my uh, name of the artifact and i'll give the display name also as my api template okay then actually this project name also i could rename refactor rename and i'll rename it as template so i want this project to be like a template for all my projects within my organization i created this then what i can do is i can i have all the best practices here right globals and all in globals i guess um, i just need to delete this router maybe let the router be there yes that's okay maybe the names of this listeners can be changed uh, like let me now edit it uh, here i'll write http listener config again because it's a template right it should not contain any project specific names mm. then edit this i'll just make it as raml config okay fine now i want this to be a template so i'll publish it to exchange any point platform publish to exchange Hmm. Now here, what is the name using which you want to publish? And uh, I can say description is this is my template. Artifact ID is a my API template version and project type is template. Next, I want to give API template as a tag. And I can add this custom fields as well finish once the process has started cannot be cancelled yes i want to publish it let it be published in the meantime i'll just go to uh, exchange and see what all right now still the publishing is not yet done taking some time to publish publishing is nothing but executing this maybe come doing it so let us wait Yes, it is saying your project has been successfully published. OK, so let me go to exchange and refresh. I should see the template, my API template. Very good. Now, how to use this template? Let's assume that this project is not here. Right now, I'll delete it. OK, I think I, oh. I didn't save it before publishing. Maybe let it be, that's okay. I will just delete it. Delete it. Now I want to create a new project from template. Project from template. Mm -hmm. How other developers in our team can use this template to create projects, we'll see. It is showing this API template in my exchange. I will select this and then I'll click on open. So it will download this project template and create a project. Good. You can see that a project is created. Now, as I created a project using template, what I have to do is maybe once I am done, actually I can say, let's assume that this is restaurant API. Rest rent dash sapi i want to change the name artifact id i'm changing and uh, name also i will change then what i can do is i can rename this project with same name like restaurant dash sapi so 
like that, what I can do is as an architect, I can publish a template into my exchange and I can enforce that all my developers should use this template. See here in this template project, once I've created all the required YAML files, following best practices are there and globals file also is there. Now the developer actually can uh, use this template and write all his uh, configurations. Now maybe in the form.xml, what the developer might need to do, the developer might need to add the dependency of his API, right? If he wants simply that impl implement any API, he needs to add the dependency of the API. Then it will it'll come as dependency. And then you can generate the flows. You know how to generate the flows. So like this, you can enforce a template to be used by your team. That's all.